made it to 11 months. I can't believe it. <laughs> can you? So I can finally put my hair up. It's a struggle though. As you can tell. So I'll work on getting this out <laughs> while I talk about some things. Um, I've noticed that as time goes on, it's like people notice that you have dreads more. <laughs> like um, comparing like the six month mark to the, like the almost year mark um, obviously haters gonna hate but <laughs> we get more compliments now like from people that we don't know um, than in the beginning when like our family was talking about like it just looks like a mess because it was for like the first month or two it was just a mess <laughs> Um, and I got this awesome new bead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can put it up now, but I have to use two hair ties. So it's not very efficient. But I'm just so glad I can put it up because it's going to get super hot. I've mostly managed to be able to get mine up as well, except I have to use my headband and tie it into itself because these are just so hard to contain. But, um, my one piece of advice for this video is that if you're young into your dreadlocks, starting them naturally neglect, I should say, and you have a big one, such as I had, I had a beaver tail kind of thing going on on the side of my head. These two as well as the back of my head, but the back of my head worked out perfectly fine. Or one at one point. But if you have one that is pulling and it hurts, take care of it as soon as you can because I chopped this one in half, I think around almost nine months, and it's still kind of wonky, so I just tied it the other day to try and get it a little straight because it likes to stray away from me and look a little abnormal. But if it wasn't causing me pain, and putting a little too much tension on my scalp, I would have left it alone. But now I have to deal with it like this. So I just gave it time. The other one's doing a lot better. This one's perfect. Perfectly fine. It's got nothing wrong with it. But this little guy doesn't like to behave. Thanks to someone's cutting. I'm sorry. I had to cut it all the way up the middle. So you don't want that. Um... So if it's like really small and really immature, you can probably get away with like snipping a little bit and it's not gonna be bad. But once they're like really fully formed, it becomes a problem. <laughs> so we might lose this one. I've been debating on whether I should brush it out or just cut it off. Cause I mean, I won't, I won't be that heartfeltly upset if I do cut it, but I don't want to be minus a dread, especially when I've only got like 13 <laughs> all in all. So I got a few new ones starting, but but let's get some uh let's get some back stuff here going. Let's get a little zoom in. Hers are definitely a bit more round than mine are. I think she rolls around in her sleep more than I do. She, I just like to sleep flat on my back. For the most part, I guess she uh, flips around. She's a flipper. This one is my longest dread. And what I did was, when it was kind of flat, I took hair from my brush from a year ago, and I 
um, made it into a shape and then I just put it in the middle and wrapped it and now it's doing really well. You can kind of tell where it started. Look at those beauties. Yep. And that view. <laughs> Could have flipped it around for both of us. <laughs> I know you're not used to working with camera. Get out of there. So, yet again, not a whole lot has changed, um, except uh, we're able to tie our hair up a bit better now. So that's good. As July approaches and July entitles summer, Ugh. so <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hot. But um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the update. That's pretty much it for the 11 month update. Um, We're going to try and do more videos now instead of one a month. <laughs> stay tuned for the one year anniversary because that's going to be quite a special video. Or so I've heard. <laughs> I haven't quite confirmed the rumors. Check out 